Yo, what is up everybody? It's Jack here. I'm a Shopify developer here at Section Store. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can add a size guide just like this one to any Shopify theme, free or paid, in a couple of minutes without having to hire a developer or pay any app subscription. A size guide is an essential component for a lot of websites, but unfortunately Shopify doesn't offer anything like this. So your options previously have been either pay an expensive developer or pay a monthly app subscription for quite a simple feature. So this video is going to show you how you can add a size guide just like this one to your theme in a couple of minutes. There's no app subscription. It adds to any theme free or paid and you own the section forever. To do this, we're going to be using the app section store. Section store is a component library of over 500 different liquid coded theme sections that plug into any Shopify theme and one click directly from within the app. Today we'll be using Size Guide 2, and if I click into it for more information, you can see that the section's a one-time charge of $9, but it's never recurring. So once you buy it, you own the section forever, and you can use it as many times as you want and as many themes as you want within your admin. I'm going to go ahead and purchase this section, and it's going to show up here under My Sections. So as you can see, we have the Size Guide 2 under My Sections. You can hit Add to Theme and choose the theme that you want to add it to, and it'll install it in one click. Move on over to the theme editor, come to the product page that you want to add the size guide to, hit add section, search for size guide, and add it just like a regular Shopify section directly here in the theme editor. Up the top here is an example that I set up earlier. To customize these sections, we want to start by clicking on the overall section name, and as you can see here on the right hand side, we now have our overall section settings. You want to start at the top here, the first setting is position, so we can choose to have this above or below the buy buttons, the product title, the description, or the price. And there's also this little snippet of custom code if you want to add this somewhere else on the page, which makes it super easy and really customizable. Moving down, we have options like a custom font, font sizes for desktop and mobile independently. You can set the align height and the alignment on both desktop and mobile. The next option is the toggle icon settings. So if you want to change this little icon here to a custom icon, you can upload one. Again, change the size on desktop and mobile, or you can hide it completely if you don't need it. The next set of settings are for the modal settings. So this is what actually pops up and displays the size guide when the customer clicks here. So we have width, again for desktop and mobile. We have padding, vertical and horizontal, roundness, border thickness and overlay. We have modal close settings. So again, just more styling options for icon sizes in desktop and mobile. Next we have modal layout. So this is the gap around the sides. Again, customized for desktop and mobile and the margin for the top and the bottom. Moving down, we have the heading settings. So this is the text that's going to show up once the size guide is expanded at the top of the page. So this could be size guide or the product name or anything else you want to put here. Again, you can add a custom font, choose the font family, change the size for desktop and mobile, adjust the line height and the alignment, both for desktop and mobile again. The next section here is subheading settings. So this is what's going to show up under that main heading when the size guide is expanded. Again, custom text with a custom font for desktop and mobile. You can change the line height and the margins. Moving down, we have the settings for the switches. So this is the toggle in my example that goes between centimeters and inches. Again, you can use a custom font. You can change the size on desktop and mobile, adjust the line height and the roundness, all styling options just to make sure that you can get this looking just right in your theme. The next set of settings is the text settings. So this is the text that shows up when the size guide is expanded. Right now we have it to model as wearing size and then we link to the features of the product so it dynamically shows the size. But you can add anything here, some information about the product, maybe how it fits, how tall your model is in the photo or anything else that you want to add. Much the same styling settings, custom font, sizes on desktop and mobile, line height, margin and alignment. The next set of settings is our image. So as you can see here, we've uploaded an image of our model uh, with a reference points as to how a customer should size the item. You can add something similar here or you can add any image you want to the size guide, whether that be the product, a brand image, a logo, etc. You can add some roundness or you can have it turn this on to show no image if you just want to have a straight size guide. The next set of settings here are all of our colors. So we have modal colors, content colors, switch colors, section colors. So this is where you go through and update all of the colors, either to the ones that match your brand, the ones that come with your theme, or to how you've designed the size guide so you can get it looking just right with a color setting for everything. Finally, at the bottom, we have the overall section settings. So we have section margin outside and then the padding inside. So how much space you want around the outside of the size guide when it pops up, and then how much padding you want inside. So the space between the border of the pop-up and the size guide, the image, etc. You can go through, adjust all these, play with them so they're to your liking. And then we're going to move over to the left-hand side to the theme blocks. So these theme blocks are how we get our individual size guides to show up. You can see in my example, I had centimeters and inches, two different size guides. So we have two blocks, one for each of those. 
If you just want one and you want all your sizes to show up in one format, you can just delete or hide the second block from the theme. So we're going to click into the first one and this is our size guide for inches. So this text section at the top is what's going to appear on our toggle, inches or centimeters. And then the next section, which is really important, is page containing size chart. So to set up the actual size charts, what you want to do is head into Shopify, go to pages under online store, create a new page, and then in the description section, fill it out with all of the text or the table that you want to appear as your size guide. Then you can come back here to the theme editor, click here, hit edit, find the page that you just created, and the section is going to automatically pull all of that information from the page into the size guide and display it like my example. This makes it really easy to both visualize the data, but also to edit it. So if something changes, if you get a new size, you want to add or remove some text, you can just go into the page, make those edits in plain text, and then it's going to automatically pull through here into the theme editor. Like I said, if you want two variations of size to show up, such as inches and centimeters, you can re repeat the same process again. Or if you don't need the second one, you can just hide it from the theme. Once you've completed this process, the size guide's all set up. You can preview it on desktop and mobile if you like, and then head up to the top right corner and hit save. And there you have it. That was a quick five minute tutorial on how you can add a size guide just like this one to any Shopify theme in a couple of minutes. I think the best things about this art is it's super easy to edit. You can do it right within the theme editor and pages so you can work on it while you're working on the rest of your theme. And most importantly, it's a one-time charge of only $9. So once you've bought it, you own it forever and you're not having to pay any app subscription like a lot of other Shopify apps. You can set this up for multiple products, either per product or the size guides do support meta fields so you can dynamically show a size guide depending on which product the customer has clicked on. If you have any questions about this section in particular or any of our other sections, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, keep an eye on both this channel and the app as we release multiple new sections every single week.